How's it going everyone? My name is Potato and welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto Retro video. Today we're going to be going over, covering, talking about, and kind of explaining the whole mystery quote-unquote uh, of the Superstar Cafe inside of Grand Theft Auto 4. So, uh, if you've played any of the GTA 4 trilogy, the Battle of Gay Tony, GTA 4 of course, or the Lost and Damned, I would say that the, the vast majority of you guys have probably come across the Superstar Cafe. Now, uh, if you haven't, or even if you have, basically the Superstar Cafe, there are two of these locations in GTA 4, and I would like to go out on a limb and say that this restaurant, or this cafe, both locations probably have the most decorated, uh, fancy interiors in the whole GTA series for, for restaurants. Now, the weird thing about it is the Superstar Cafe, it serves no purpose. There are only two uh, appearances that th this cafe makes in missions, and one is a Stranger and Freak mission in, in GTA 4 for a character named Jeff, where Nico has to go in there and he has to photograph a, a picture of Jeff's wife basically having an affair uh, on Jeff with another man. And then there is in The Lost and Damned, I believe, uh, a mission where Johnny Klebitz has to go in here and assassinate a, a politician who's inside the cafe. Other than that, this Rockstar Cafe serves no purpose. It, it's just there, and it's a really, really cool uh, restaurant. O overall, the interior, like I said, is awesome. The logo is cool. It's a star with neon lights, and it says Superstar Cafe. And it, it's, it's just here, essentially. Now, there are two different layers to each of these cafes in each location on the map. And the bottom floor is more of a dining area and a bar area where, where music is played. And then upstairs is kind of a, a lounge area with just with, with sofas and, and, and chairs and recliners and, and things like that where I guess you just go and hang out. But uh, there is, I believe, uh, just random spawn points in GTA 4 of a man playing a saxophone and you can give him ten dollars and in return he will give you full health so uh, that's really cool now the, the whole mystery what I was talking about at the beginning of the video and like I said just quote those words mystery there but uh, it is the the superstar cafe in the beta version of GTA 5 or GTA 4 excuse me was actually called the rockstar cafe now that actually seems really plausible uh, due to the fact that Rockstar Games, of course, developed GTA, the whole GTA series, and all these GTA games, and the logo for this cafe is a star. But my only explanation to the fact that, or, or the reason why maybe it was changed to the Superstar Cafe is due to the fact that there is an energy drink company called Rockstar Energy. So uh, that's my kind of explanation for maybe the, the name change. Uh, just for the sake uh, of Rockstar wanting to uh, avoid copyright issues. And of course, uh, Rockstar Energy's logo is a star, and that's what the, the Superstar Cafe's logo is. So, uh, uh, Rockstar Energy, if Rockstar would have named it Rockstar Cafe, uh, they could have easily been susceptible to, to copyright infringement, I, I suppose, from the Rockstar Energy Drink Company. So... Uh, that's really cool, and also I've got an image up here on your screen. There was actually in the beta version of GTA 4 a beta character model for the Rockstar Cafe or the Superstar Cafe, and uh, on this man's shirt or this beta pedestrian shirt or NPC, whatever you want to call it, it says the Rockstar Cafe. So that, that's kind of confirmation that there was a name change. I, I guess, like I said, for the sake of Rockstar uh, avoiding any copyright issues they may have come into contact with. But uh, with that said, that's really just about it for this GTA Retro video. If you guys did enjoy and would like to see more retro videos, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new around here. That way you never miss out on an upload. Uh, we're also on the road to 100,000, so your guys' support is greatly appreciated. And... Uh, once we reach 500 likes uh, on this episode, I will upload another retro video where we discuss all of the removed characters and beta characters from the GTA series. So, with all that said out of the way, I believe that's just about it. You guys all take it easy, have a safe one, and I will talk to you later. Bye.